Good evening, media friends. Welcome to the press briefing of uh, PCOO Secretary Martin Andanar. Uh, good evening, Secretary. Thank you, June. And uh, good afternoon to all of our uh, members of the press, uh, the Malacanang Press Corps, and those who are watching us live on social media. Uh, this afternoon, about uh, 2.30, I received a, a message uh, from a fellow journalist from the Malacanang Press Corps, uh, Rudy Andal, uh, asking me if uh, I have any reaction to the uh, purported Bangkok Post uh, front page that says uh, that the King of uh, Thailand uh, reminded the President to behave. And then he showed me, he sent me a, a, a photograph of the front page. Um, incidentally, or coincidentally, I was on my way to the Bangkok Post uh, for, an, for a meeting, an interview with um, one of the reporters there. And uh, we asked him if uh, there's any truth to the uh, front page. And he said outright that it was fake news. And he gave us a copy of the newspaper, the actual newspaper, the actual edition, uh, which was published on Thursday, October 31, 2019. Uh, exacto, parejas, except for the title here below. It says here, Suvit calls for Thailand to embrace 5G fast or lag behind rivals. It's essentially a story about the statement of uh, Suvit Mais Sensi, the Minister of Higher Education, Science, Research, and Innovation. At Sabinya, there is an ongoing roadmap for 5G planning and implementation globally. So it's about the telecommunications here in Thailand. I would like to remind everybody to be respectful to uh, His Majesty the King of Thailand. Uh, they have been very generous and they have been uh, very courteous and they've been good hosts to us Filipinos and the rest of the ASEAN. Um, I'd also like to remind uh, everyone to be respectful to the good relations between the Philippines and Thailand, and not to create any fake news that would be detrimental to our good relations. Respeto lang po tayo sa hari ng Thailand na napaka gracious po ng kanilang pag-host sa atin, mga Pilipino at iba pang mga miyembro ng ASEAN para sa uh, ASEAN summit and the related summits ngayon taon na ito. Okay, uh, first question, Ian Cruz, uh, GMA Sec. Sec, nabanggit ba ni Rudy kung saan galing yung front page uh, screen grab? Hindi po nabanggit, pero mukhang ang ginawa ay inedit. Pinotoshop siguro yun dito. Tapos pinalitan ng fake news na na title. Uh, malisyoso ang ginawa ng tao na yon kung sino man siya. Uh, if he is against the administration, abay meron naman mga paraan para you know, we voice out our concerns and our opposition to this administration. Uh, wag sana yung fake news at nandamay ka pa ng ibang bansa at dinamay mo pa ang kagalang-galang na hari ng bansa ng Thailand. Uh, at alam nyo po, meron pong lay uh, majesty law na kung kayo po or kapag binastos nyo ang hari ng Thailand ay makukulong kayo ng labing limang taon. So, I, I will call the um, attention of the National Bureau of Investigation to get to the bottom of this, kung pwede nilang gamitin yung kanilang uh, uh, cyber forensic division 
para po matrace kung sino man yung tao na nagpakalat ng uh, fake news na ito. At uh, para po managot kung sino man yun. Dahil nakaka-apekto ito sa magandang relasyon ng bansang Thailand at ng Pilipinas. So, follow up or, uh, next question uh, from Vivian Gulia of abs -CBN. Sir, good evening. Vivian from ABS-CBN. Um, I understand that there's still, or there are still concerns from a party to the RCEP uh, original comprehensive economic partnership. Um, despite this, are you still optimistic that um, the parties will be able to reach a conclusion to, up to the negotiations this Monday? The regional comprehensive economic partnership is a very important mechanism for the Philippines and the rest of ASEAN uh, to compete in the world economy. Especially ASEAN, uh, we are limited to a strong 600 million market. But once the RCEP is signed and once it's being implemented, then we automatically, we drastically open our 600 million market to about 3.5 billion, which includes Australia, New Zealand, Japan, South Korea, China, and India. Uh, pagkakaintindi ko ay meron lang pong mga tanong ang uh, India. Uh, dito po sa RCEP, uh, they would want to, I suppose, uh, go back to the drawing board and find out uh, which products um, would be affected uh, in the um, lower of the tariffs, of the lowering of the tariffs once this, uh, this uh, RCEP is approved. Uh, we all understand that RCEP uh, means uh, a free trade agreement um, in the Asia Pacific. So, dun po nagkakaroon ng konting uh, obstacle. But I am very optimistic that uh, after all of the um, time and the money invested by the different nations, uh, especially here in uh, ASEAN, uh, parang wala na hong um, rason kung bakit uh, hindi pa ito ma-finalize during this time. And I also understand that this is one of the objectives of the chairman of ASEAN this year. Uh, Follow-up lang doon, ano? Kasi may mga sectors naman na maaaring tumutol dito, like yung agriculture sector natin. Paano natin sila mapoprotektahan kung papasok din yung other products na mas mababa sa atin? We, we are in a very <clears throat> volatile uh, world economy. We're in, it's just uh, impossible for uh, a country to isolate itself from uh, the growing economies and the, the growing um, uh, economic blocks of other uh, continents. Uh, for us, ASEAN, it's very important that uh, we can also uh, send or export our products to other countries na sa ngayon na hindi natin may export dahil um, mataas masyado yung uh, tariff at hindi tayo makapag-compete. Uh, by having an RCEP, then uh, we essentially uh, equalize further the playing field uh, in our uh, ASEAN regional bloc and the additional countries that we will be um, dealing with, like the countries I mentioned, South Korea, Japan, China, India, Australia, and New Zealand. Napakalaking merkado nito. Um, you know, for example, right now, uh, it is the same question, Ian, that uh, is being um, thrown at us uh, para dito naman sa ating rice tarification. Uh, for instance, the rice tarification, nakita natin na bumaba yung ating inflation to 0.9. At kung matatandaan natin, nung nakaraan taon, napakataas ng ating inflation. Tapos, the greater majority of Filipinos are enjoying uh, low price in rice. Pero magreklamo naman yung farmers kasi sila naman yung naapektuhan dahil sa mababang farm gate prices. But uh, yung nakukuha namang nabuis ng gobyerno natin from the rice tarification, for instance, eventually, 
kapag nakuha na yung uh, uh, koleksyon ng gobyerno, ito naman yung gagastosin din para mas lalo maging competitive yung ating mga farmers. So I would suppose that uh, yung kikitain din ng bansang Pilipinas from a uh, mechanism called RCEP, uh, ito rin yung gagastosin para mas lalong ma-train pa yung iba pang mga industriya, mabigyan ng uh, uh, karampatang tools para sila ay makapag-compete din sa ibang bansa na mas advanced sila in that uh, uh, specific industry. Uh, next question from uh, John Aguilagon. Good afternoon, sir, from Asai Shimbun. Hi. What is the position of the Philippines in terms of India and RCEP? Is the Philippines open to having RCEP without India, just to have it you know, pushed through? Or do we want all the countries on board when we actually I sign that? I cannot answer you kung ano yung position ng bansa natin with regards to uh, the policy of India. I may have to uh, defer that question to uh, Secretary Mon Lopez. Uh, tomorrow, he will have a press conference here. Other questions? Okay, uh, Vivian. Sir, U.S. President Donald Trump will reportedly skip the ASEAN summit uh, this year. Um, how do you think will this affect the, or I mean, what does this, what, what, this is, what message does this send to the ASEAN regarding the importance U.S. places on the region? I do not know the reason why President Donald Trump uh, is skipping the 35th ASEAN summit uh, the same way that he skipped the summit uh, in Singapore. Uh, but I am uh, pretty certain that um, the United States will be well represented by uh, a U.S. official. And that official who will represent Donald Trump uh, would be his alter ego. Oh no, I, I don't think so. Um, ASEAN and the United States have had a, a good relationship for the last decades. We are good partners with the United States. Uh, we would also want to foster our partnership. And uh, an absence in uh, an ASEAN summit like this uh, would not change the equation of our relationship. Okay, any more questions? Uh, yeah, Bernadette Nicolas from Mrs. Miller, then uh, John Villanueva. Hi, Sec. Uh, may we know how many bilateral meetings are scheduled to be attended by President Duterte? For now, I have uh, in my list one bilateral meeting. Um, but I will uh, allow uh, Secretary Salpanello to, uh, to make the official announcement. Uh, John Villanueva of PNA. Uh, have, have, do you have any ballpark figure how much we will gain from it and how much we will lose? I mean, which, is the, which has the bigger mm -hmm. propor uh, re proportion or portion between the two? I do not have a ball park figure of how much we will gain or uh, how much we will lose. Um, but I am sure that we will gain, and I am also sure that the market opens up tremendously from 600 million to 3.5 billion people. So just imagine the products of the Philippines uh, can now be exported to uh, 3.5 billion people uh, on this side of the hemisphere. Sir, what can we expect from President Duterte when it comes to um, tackling issues on the South China Sea during the summit? The President has uh, always maintained uh, to have a um, uh, policy uh, that, that is uh, friends to all and enemies to none. Uh, our relationship with China is not limited to one aspect. Uh, we have other uh, factors to consider, 
We do have the people-to-people -people exchanges with the Republic of <coughs> People's Republic of China. We all do. We also have um, <coughs> trading relations with China. Uh, we do have uh, cultural exchanges with China. Um, uh, we are expecting um, ODA, and we are also receiving investments from the People's Republic of China, whether from the government or from the private sector. Um, at the same time, uh, we still hold that card, that uh, permanent court of arbitration ruling, uh, stating that uh, we do have sovereignty over uh, this area uh, in the West Philippine Sea. I cannot tell you if he will raise it, but I am uh, almost certain that what will be discussed during this ASEAN is the uh, code of conduct. COC? Yeah. Uh, I cannot answer you how far we are, but um, as uh, the country coordinator for ASEAN and China, uh, the Philippines will work extra uh, to be able to come up with a, with a good environment for um, the final approval and the implementation of the code of conduct um, over the South China Sea. Okay, last two questions from uh, Jendaline Kabiling of Manila Bulletin, then uh, Chris, uh, Jeset Enanov, Inquirer. Hello, sir. Sir, will the president take China to stop its excessive claims into our waters? I cannot answer you uh, if the president will raise that uh, during this um, ASEAN. But what I can tell you is uh, every time that uh, there are issues, when issues uh, uh, come up or spring up, uh, we do have the Department of Foreign Affairs um, uh, that, that is very active in uh, sending their uh, um, uh, message to China. Uh, but will the president uh, ask other ASEAN leaders, at least to, uh, the negotiators, to hasten the crafting of the code of conduct to reduce the tension in the region? Uh, we will find out in the next few days. Inquirer. Inquirer. Sir, do we see a timeline for the finally the conclusion of the code of conduct? And if not, if it's not going to be that we see for the if this code of conduct is still not passed? I remember you? in 2017 the mechanism for the Code of Conduct means, and then it proceeded in uh, Singapore, and now we are here in Thailand. So if you ask me if there is a timeline, um, the Association of Southeast Asian Nations would, would want this as soon as possible, but if you ask me when, I wouldn't be able to answer you. Dangerous for our country, for the Philippines, and our relations with China, and those with other overlapping claims. Um, once this continues, but that we don't have a code of conduct on the table? Uh, no, I don't see any danger. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, our relationship with the People's Republic of China is multifaceted. It's not limited to our uh, issue over the West Philippine Sea. And uh, while the ASEAN is at, uh, at it, uh, building the mechanism and, uh, and finalizing the code of conduct, uh, we will still continue um, uh, trading with China. We will still continue with our people-to-people -people exchanges, our cultural exchanges, and our partnership in um, eradicating hard drugs and also fighting uh, terrorism and human trafficking. Okay, uh, that concludes our uh, press briefing in Bangkok, Thailand. Uh, thank you, Secretary Aldenar, and thank you. thank you, media friends. Good evening.